Hello, welcome to the first of a brand new series called Sacred Journeys, where we venture out to these very special places mm. and perform ceremonies and sing songs and have poetry and do meditations, singing the land back into harmony, really, and receiving messages. Well, it's about connection. They're all about connection. So when you go to these places that you also yeah, feel that you're connecting and, and learn how to connect, we have lots of fun too and lots of sweet treats. <laughs> we do, we certainly do. You're so, a flapjack. So we hope mm -hmm. you're going to come with us. And in this first episode, we actually go and explore the myth of the white-leaved oak. This is a special place, a very special place. It stands between three counties or three shires, Gloucestershire, Worcestershire and Herefordshire. Once there would have been this tree this white-leafed oak and you can imagine how special and unique that would have been so it's considered very auspicious. Yeah it was like an albino tree and there was a tree standing between five and eight hundred years which recently burned down which really was a signpost to the mm. sacredness of this area where monks, druids used to sing into the land, into the lays. Yeah, and so they, these were the perpetual choirs, what Jean-Michel sort of really talked about. So the perpetual choirs would have been about singing the land into harmony. The sound travelled across the land as intentional healing frequencies via the ten earth energy ley lines that emanated out from it. Author and dowser John Gibson Forty confirmed that a great decagon was indeed centred around the site of where the great white-leaved oak once stood. So what we're trying to do on this sacred journey is invite you to join us in a ceremony of peace and reconciliation at this very special and magical place. And my goodness, some amazing things happen, including the ribbons of light, Kelly. I know. And also <laughs> the crows. We had crows giving us the, uh, the authorization to actually go there. You really have to watch it. It's very magical. We are at the White Leafed Oak, the lovely hamlet in Malvern. Okay, got all the filming equipment. I'm a bit like a pack horse now. Come on. Coming. How far is it, Kelly? It's only a 10 minute walk, but it's a bit uphill. Oh, boggy. Ooh. <laughs> squelch, squelch, squelch. So originally it was believed there was a white leaved oak and that would have been like an albino tree. How many years old do you think that was? Oh well, I don't know. I mean it's I'm honestly I wouldn't know. It was gonna be thousands of years ago. And and again it's you know, this is a, a myth, you know, that it existed. I truly believe it did exist. And so I'm just gonna ask my dowsing rods, show me where the original white leafed oak would have been connected here in the earth somewhere over there and it was um believed that there was three perpetual choirs one in amesbury one in wales and there was another one in glastonbury these perpetual choirs would literally sing the land into harmony so it's thought that there was 2,400 monks that would sing here. They're singing the land and the people and nature into harmony and compatibility, which is exactly what we're hoping to create in doing this film, actually. Generate this energy of reconciliation and peace and unity coming together. Walk tall as the trees. Live strong as the mountains. Be gentle as the spring winds. Keep the warmth of the summer sun in your heart and the energy of the great spirit will always be with you. 
The last tree was a signpost that people revered as a sacred site. That suddenly burned down in 2020. So even though we're going to the area where the last tree was, it's actually this whole area that is the special place that Jean-Michel talks about as in the great Decagon. And this great Decagon being a convergence of 10 energy lines. I don't know about you, Kelly, but I'm feeling really quite giddy and excited. We're on a school outing, it seems. It's exciting. <laughs> There's pheasant over there. Over there, there's a pheasant right there, and it's just running. Can you hear that, Kelly? That's a Chinook helicopter. Yes, how interesting it should be here whilst we're trying to record. I know, because this is all about reconciliation and peace, isn't it? Yeah, and that's um, obviously something that's used by the military. Having said that, it could be peace workers, who knows? This is true, and we can only hope. You'll see there are two trees there. And for me, this has always been the entrance point to this very liminal space. Um, you know, like they're, they're the keepers. And so very much I always feel when I come closer to them, I like to send my love and gratitude and request entrance to this sacred space. Um, it just feels right and honourable to do that. So that's what we're going to do. So these are the two gatekeepers that Kelly was talking about. So we're now going to move from head to heart and lovingly ask permission to enter this sacred space. So just sending our love and gratitude to this beautiful sacred land, to the spirit of the place, to all of nature. And we ask for entrance to this liminal space between worlds, between time. Three Thank crows, you. did you hear that? <laughs> Thank Three you. crows, come on, let's go. <laughs> it's so magical here, isn't it? You see where I love it. So Kelly, you came here, didn't you, the day after the tree burnt down? Yes, I got um, notification of it on social media that it had happened. And so me and my daughter come here straight away. Um, really just wanting to send our love and gratitude to the tree for holding that position that it did um, in, you know, creating a sacred place that people could connect to the spirit of the place. It would have been just on that edge there and literally it was clinging to this rock, Ragged Stone Hill. I still feel that the spirit of that tree that kept that post um, is very much here. It's amazing light here now, Kelly. Oh, it's just so pretty, it's so warm as well. How it's changed. So lucky, aren't we, to live here? Truly a beast. So where's the tree? You're on the tree. The tree is here. And look at these amazing fungi. It is supporting life. Ah, oh, Kelly, we made it. We did. We are here and welcome. Welcome to this amazing sacred space. In fact, this is the first time I've been here. I do feel the spirit of the place is really holding us, actually. You know, I feel we're, we're obviously in a little sort of cove here. Um, but it's a nook. A nook, yeah. But it does feel like we're being held and very much loved. And we've seen lots of fungi. There is lots of fungi, which always says to me 
that this is the fairy realm. It's magical. It is magical. And there is a joyful, giddy energy which is coming yes. through here. Yeah. It fills my heart with joy. I mean, this is this is my church. I have to say, I think it must be an ascension symptom of sorts, but my knees have been creaking. It's gone from right knee, a resistance to step forward. I've tackled that one <laughs> after many a session, but now it's my left. Well, that's hilarious because I've got right shoulder <laughs> and right hip. So again, it's about, it's all that movement forward, yeah. isn't it? I do feel that we're processing a lot of information, a lot of energy. Um, there's lots of chaotic situations in our personal lives, in the global reality of, of what's going on. Um, and I think, you know, again, the joints, this stiffness is about flexibility but when me and Helen actually stand up, we will look like old ladies and it will take us a while to straighten our backs. So just, just telling you what it's like right now. So the crystals I've chosen very much are for the intention of peace and also um, relationships. And so aquamarine, which is the circle around, again, the circle being about wholeness, aquamarine is about truth. It's also about trust. It's again, it's about our connection to spirit. And again, I do feel that we need to surrender to the flow that we're in at the moment. And as much as there is unrest, you know, we actually have to stand true to ourselves. And to me, aquamarine is very much the divine feminine energy and the higher heart. Absolutely. It's about speaking truth. Six citrine points connecting with the divine, raising our consciousness above the, the heaviness. There's a ring of six yellow jaspers. A jasper is all about resilience, it's about physical resilience and also emotional resilience. And so it's a very stabilizing crystal. Then we've got six carnelian. Now, these are really, really special because these are about creativity. And then in the centre, we have a smoky quartz. Smoky quartz is very, very grounding. Again, it's great for dissolving fears. And in that smoky quartz, it has some black... Hello. <laughs> Thank you. It has some black tourmaline. And black tourmaline, again, is very, very grounding. Um, I bought some uh, apples uh, from the grandmother apple tree in my garden. Uh, we've got water from the chalice well. Uh, we were there. We the were. other week, uh, listening to the amazing Veda Austin about um, oh, the sacredness of water, but the consciousness of water and all her amazing experiments. So I bought our Petri dishes, so we're going to have an experiment with We water. certainly are, and crystals and as well. And crystals, yeah, crystals yeah. of water. And we've uh, lit the candle. We'd like to invite you here. And we also call upon the spirit of this place, the land, the ancestors, the nature spirits, the higher dimensional beings across all time or space that serve in love, in unity, truth and peace. We ask you to join us as we hold this space together as one and send our love and our gratitude to the four corners in all directions if you can imagine that there are 10 energy lays emanating out and descending your love and your gratitude out now and allowing the love and the gratitude to come in also as we come together as one. Deep peace of the rolling waves to you, deep peace of the silent stars. Deep peace of the blowing air to you, deep peace of the quiet earth. May peace, may peace, may peace heal your soul. Let peace, let peace, let peace keep you whole. Out beyond ideas of wrongdoing and right doing, there is a field. I'll meet you there. When the soul lies down in that grass, the world is too full to talk about. 
ideas, language, even the phrase each other doesn't make any sense. The breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. You must ask for what you really want. Don't go back to sleep. People are going back and forth across the door sill where the two worlds touch. The door is round and open. Don't go back to sleep. Just spending a moment or two now just to go into your heart center and allow yourself to simply be naturally thoughts and feelings and experiences will come and they will go. They are all welcome to come and go. And yet with our intention, we are connecting to a divine point of creation a spark of light. Igniting. And that light is not somewhere outside of us, it is actually inside of us. We each have that same spark of creation. It is a driving energy that guides us, allowing that light to grow in the heart from a spark to a great white light. And as it grows throughout your entire being, it connects us and we see different colours growing like ribbons of light. We come together and we connect these different colours frequencies, your truth, my truth, coming together in harmony, together we oscillate and vibrate a frequency that is peace, anchoring that here and now. Becoming a pillar of peace as we each stand as pillars of peace sharing love and truth we are enabling this new earth this new paradigm It is taking shape and form through your very actions of holding peace in the present moment.
And you are probably aware that everything has fallen away now. The tension. The chaos. It's all fallen away. So sending our love and gratitude to this sacred space to this ability to come together as one to all that have brought this into place all limbs or dimensions just feeling the presence again of your physical body that which is around you the awareness of the space that you're in the environment and moment by moment, you are gradually emerging as that pillar of peace, realigned, reconnected, resilient, and filled with that spark of creation light. Starting to move our fingers and our toes. Any part of you that needs to stretch. Bits might creak now. <laughs> this is often the case when I stretch, as we've said. I want to see if you can channel the spirit of the tree. Of that tree, or the spirit of the white leaf doe. The spirit of the white leaf doe. I just go into space a little bit. Thank you for sharing this message. For many years, we have welcomed you, supported you in connecting, reconnecting to the spirit, as you call it. We see that you have forgotten the importance of spirit and spirit being in nature. We have welcomed you here to recreate that for you. As you hear all around you, nature is singing. There are sounds outside of you that you do not hear because you are unable to. The perpetual choirs continue as frequency, but they are supported by you. When you come from a place of love, you emanate a very special energy. And we are grateful for you today for doing this and anchoring that energy here. As nature, sometimes we are shy around humans. This is because sometimes a human's energy can be very heavy and intoxicating. We are grateful that you have come together today to bring love and to be peace. This is clearing for all. As a community, we send love and gratitude to you. That's amazing. And I was like rippling with energy. Spirit of the tree, but then the spirit of the whole, yeah. if you know what I mean. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, it's just a privilege to be here. I just feel very, um, I just want to send love and gratitude and, and say thank you. Thank you. Too, thank you. Thank you. We're now closing this space. And so you may want to 
withdraw your energy at this time also. This is our intention. And let's continue to hold the light. Thank you those pillars of peace. Pillars of peace. Pillars of peace. I can say that when you've had a few. <laughs> <laughs> Pillars of peace, please. Pillars of peace, please. <laughs> They're going to wake up in the middle of the night. Pillars of peace. <laughs> Amazing. That was so cool. Amazing. God, when I opened my eyes, everything was like um, fucking radiant. You know what I mean? That red from that was just like. It was like everything was frequency, not like. Just bright. I was when it was coming through. I, I my chest was like oh, do, 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 do. the yeah. vibrations. Yeah. Do you want a bit of um, flapjack? Yeah. Or do you want to wait and go and have some flap? Yeah, a cup of tea. I've got, no, I've got a cup of tea with me. I'll have you. Have you got a hot drink? No. <laughs> <laughs> have it prepared. Yeah. Let's have a sweet treat. Okay. <laughs> this is the old woman bit. Right, come on. Come on, Ellen, you can do it. Three. You go first. Okay, one. All right. right. Two, on three. Okay, one, two. Jeez! <laughs> I'm out. I'm not moving. I can't. Look, I'm wobbling. Yeah, me too. <laughs>